Company valuation is the process of determining the economic value of a company. Valuation is typically done for various reasons, including mergers and acquisitions, financial reporting, investment analysis, and fundraising. There are several methods used to value a company, and the appropriate method depends on various factors, including the nature of the business, the industry, and the purpose of the valuation. Here are some commonly used valuation methods. Comparable company analysis method involves comparing the target company to similar publicly traded companies. Key financial metrics, such as price to earnings ratio, enterprise value to earnings before interest, tax, depreciation and amortization, and others, are used to determine a valuation multiple that is then applied to the target company's financial metrics. Similar to CCA, Comparable transaction analysis involves looking at the valuation multiples of recent transactions involving similar companies. This can include mergers, acquisitions, and other transactions. Discounted cash flow method involves estimating the present value of a company's future cash flows. It requires forecasting the company's expected cash flows and discounting them back to their present value using a discount rate. DCF is often considered a comprehensive valuation method, but it relies heavily on the accuracy of the cash flow projections and the chosen discount rate. Asset-based valuation method calculates the value of a company based on its net assets. It considers the company's book value, adjusted for fair market value, and subtracts liabilities. This approach is more common for companies with significant tangible assets, such as real estate or manufacturing firms. For publicly traded companies, market capitalization is a straightforward way to estimate the company's value. It is calculated by multiplying the current stock price by the number of outstanding shares. Earnings multipliers include metrics like the price-to-earnings ratio or enterprise value to earnings before interest, tax, depreciation and amortization which relate a company's market value to its earnings or earnings potential. It's important to note that no single method is perfect and valuations are often done using a combination of these approaches. Additionally, valuations can vary depending on the context and the assumptions made during the analysis. Professional financial analysts or valuation experts are often consulted to perform detailed valuations, especially in complex situations such as mergers and acquisitions. Thank you for watching this video. We will explain further some of these methods that are commonly used by investors who are trading equities.